the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Nathan, Nat and Sean. I always want to skid out you. I always want to be nice. As you are well aware, it's Miguel Maestre. It was more finesse. Just begged Begged. Nathan and Sean to throw darts at his head. So he put his head next to the dartboard. You guys loved it. And then he made me, by the way... (laughs) Well, being Spanish, you know, you're a bullfighter, yeah. so you stand in front of the things Bring with the horns. Very mad at all. Bring mm. it on, yes. You your are. Face. You know what I love about you? <laughs> face your fear. So you look at danger and you're spitting it. <laughs> you're spitting its general no, direction. No, I literally almost piss my pants yeah. when you're yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> the whole tough guy thing doesn't really work. And <laughs> Inside, I get a marshmallow. <laughs> and you're here launching Stockland's summer sizzle, right? And I just want to say all the people from Stockland's in here, they were fine with that happening. Yes. They were yeah. fine with us throwing darts at your face. I'm we didn't sign anything. <laughs> Normally it's like a hundred OHS like forms to do. Uh, I can't watch an amazing competition. I mean Yeah, yeah, what is it? Uh, so WA be yeah. ready to rumble. Yeah. So yeah. uh Stockland wanna get a little bit of awareness of the Speaking summer season. Microphone. I got a big voice. I can look at you and yeah. talk here like, from far away. <laughs> and he's like I just feel like he ordered something to wait. I don't know what he just said. <laughs> I mean and we got this amazing summer season that we want everyone because obviously barbecue season is yes. on and we're gonna get a little bit of a awareness of um, how nice, how much we care about like, people cooking barbecues. And it's amazing, like, um, one lucky person is going to get a prize to be with me when I come back in March That's doing a barbecue. Prize. That's the prize, and $1,000. But the way to get into the competition is to get your favorite barbecue dishes yeah. and post it in our Instagram account, oh, Stockland okay. WA, mm. hashtag Stockland WA. Put your favorite dishes, and you'll be in the competition to be my VIP. VIP means very important person, right? Yeah. VIP tester when I'm actually cooking the barbecue in March next year. So you'll oh. be by my side. You'll be the, my main man. And you'll man. be like feeding them the odd yes, sausage here and you there. you will open. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can cook more things than a sausage in a barbecue. Are we doing right? some results? <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I always feel we always go in circles to the sausage. <laughs> when we were going to buy a sausage. It's a sizzle. Nathan, it's not a sizzle. It's a sizzle. It's a sizzle. It's a sizzle. Some of these <laughs> um, Miguel, seafood on a barbecue, is that like a big thing for you? Oh, it's, it's, the, it's the natural choice. I yes. mean, it's not all about the sausage. I mean, think about it. <laughs> We're in WA. Think about how amazing local produce we mm. got here. The best, you're talking about Ronnes Island, yes. the best yeah. scallops. You know, we got the most amazing prawns. I mean, you, it, Australia is through a shrimp in the barbie mud. Hey, well, how do you like, cook your fish on a on a barbecue? Do you do you put well, a, uh, some kind of coating on it or you just um, lightly olive oil? Wrap it in yeah. something, wrap can, it in foil. I can, I can see here, like, genuine interest. Oh, yeah. And I love this. I mean, I mean, when you go to radio interviews, nobody yes. cares about anything. <laughs> no. But I can see some... Re- when yeah, you are looking yeah, at yeah. I'll get so ready for Christmas when thinking about it. It's all about the marinade. And it's as well, sometimes we don't take care of our grills. Sometimes the grill is not being looked after. Oh, so when you yeah. cook in a piece of seafood, you spend 35 to $45 a yes. kilo in an amazing piece of sausage. And you're whacking yes. on a dirty and you put grill. It in the, in the Worst grill yeah. in town that everybody have. Oh my, look at the it's onions with the beer. Yeah. And it's sausage fan, that's disgusting. So clean your grill, make sure it's really hot. A nice marinade will be good. Don't be too rich on the marinade because too much marinade will become flame. Flame will become fire. Fire yeah. will become burnt taste. Oh. And your $35 turning to, hey, you got mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want that. You want like a nice, you know, you want to respect the fish. You want the fish to be cooked beautifully. And I tell you, that's when you have your grill marks. You yeah. spend a little bit of time the seasoning, getting your fish room temperature as well is important. Yeah. You know, a little bit of massage, mm. some nice rub, like a little bit of paprika. You know, and you get into the fish, and I tell you, you make sure you get your time when you're cooking it. Not just put it there. It's not like a steak that you can let it go, yeah, let yeah. it go, let it go. <laughs> so you can just not really focus into them, into that piece of fish when you're cooking. That's important. So all your answers are yeah. look after the grill, yeah. buy a nice thick piece of fish. Don't go for a little bit of flathead. That's really, yeah. you know. I know, but it's a, the expense of it all. I guess if you're going to have it, you're you might have to go. What are you talking about? Don't oh, buy that boat. You'll like be you. right. Just get the nice chunky, you, a lot of money. you know, chunky. Yeah, a chunky piece of fish. <laughs> I like big chunks and I can't like. Do you know? Big you chunky wanna, fish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This guy is yeah. yeah. having this guy is having the best time of his life. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the other guy? You fired him or something? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. other guy wasn't digging our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's laughing about our jokes. They say it's part of his contract. <laughs> 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 it's actually Harry's face hurts right now. He wants yeah. to stop. 
this morning, but he's not allowed to. It's Ollie, I love it. Uh, 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 it's good to have you back anyway. Yeah, what else is, you what else is obviously happening? doing the rounds for Stockland, but what else are you doing over here? Well, um, I'm going to be, today I'm actually cooking lunch in a beautiful community that we're launching in Ilari. Oh, it's, we didn't uh, get the invite. Did you, you get guys one? Think the invite? Um, no. we, in Stockland, I mean, um, this beautiful, early on the year, I was here launching Wildflower. Yeah. Yes. That is the yes. first electric community. I mean, yes. Working with the Stockland is absolutely amazing because it's a company that we just, you know, we just don't build houses and people live in you there. You build actually. communities. Yeah. And, and it's amazing to see, like, a lot of people are downsizing now. So you know, these over 55 are great places for people that want to downsize. And you see the community, like, you see all these guys hanging out together because we got places like a beautiful pool and yeah, communal rooms. spaces. And, oh, yeah, and people having that. a drink. Yeah. And it's almost like a place where people, you know, togetherness is in the menu. Yeah. So it's like Stone. an old person school is. Yeah. Well, so old person school is. I don't know how Stockland will define that, but we're going to put that in the brief. Oh, that's right. I mean, so, I don't want to say anything. If you think over 55 is old people, I don't know how old you it are. Is, it is for schoolies. Oh, so yeah. 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 Uh, uh, 55 uh, uh, is in 10 years. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 so, so I want to know, because you are the face of Stockland, basically, are you? do you get a key to every house in the community? Yes. Which and you so you should? drop by yeah. for dinner anytime. Like, you know, you will be amazed. Like, what? everybody gets so involved. I get to cook in the kitchen, in the centre, where they're yes. going to be hanging out. Mm -hmm. And you get, I get to say hello to everyone. And it's dancing, we got music, and it's the most amazing. You know how beautiful it is to see? Like, I love community. That's yeah. what is the best company to work for. Community is so important, and I yeah. love how everybody gets so involved. And you see um, people having the plate of paella and dancing with the panna and talking to the neighbors. And you see, that's very Australian. We need that the yeah. more than ever. Don't you? Mm. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's like it. mm. I mean, community for me is everything. We're going to throw your bone here, Miguel. There's a there's a uh, subdivision up north of the river that needs a bit of a bit of a plug. Oh, beautiful oh, brought in. Oh, here we are. I love it very well. So, we so wait, we've already community. talked about the, oh, no. the, the, 55, the 55 plus, plus the 55 of plus. the so that's, school is area. That's yeah. Stockland Aspire. That's Aspire. Aspire. Yeah. And, and, that's, and that's, that's Aspire to live the next year. Yes, and indeed. That, but that's when we were talking about like how... It's a shush. Someone called the fun police. Okay? Hey, I'm that's, fun, though. But, that, but that's, what we were, that's what we were talking about. Aspire will be the community where everybody downsize. And that's yes. what we're talking about. That amazing thing feeling of community. Yeah. And that's kind of like when I come mm. and cook for everyone and everybody get really excited. Yeah, and, and you'll be cooking, of course, at 4.30. <laughs> 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 because I'll be in the <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We actually cook in lunch. I'm going to stay from here to cook lunch. Gives him a chance to put that purple ring in as well. Now, Miguel, of course, you know, you and Love You on the living room, but that got axed. Well, it didn't got axed. It was put to sleep. put to sleep. It's not pretty much like well, it's not, it's not waking up because Chris Brown's left. So yeah, he's, Gringo he's, left. Uh, yeah, he's jumped oh. to another network where he's going to be on everything. What? What's your new TV? Okay, project? so the thing in our really exciting news, mm. and this is very, very exciting, okay. for all the lovers of a real cooking show, yes. I'll be the new host mm. of a remaster version of Ready, Steady, Cook. Yes! yes. yes. I mean, I'm very happy about it. Ready, Steady, Cook. That's right. Wasn't the original host angry that you got it? Yeah, Pete oh, Everett. I'm not sure. I don't read the tabloids. Nobody, so, um, nobody I'm, called I want a personality. I want a proper life. I don't <laughs> just spend time on in Instagram. But only, but <laughs> not the thing true. Is, uh, but, I mean, I only follow you on Instagram. <laughs> now, but the thing is, um, it's an amazing version. It's going to be on Friday nights, the same time and slot the living room used to be. Yeah, right. And it's a remastered version where we're going to take it to the next level. Oh, As will you, you wheel Amanda Keller out every now and then just but, for old time's sake? That, but we will bring, I think, celebrities to go against yeah, each right. other. I so mean, if you right. guys want to come and have a cool call, yes. that's what I will work for you in. Yes. You did say celebrities, right? <laughs> I mean, you, that's a, it's a, a big terminology. Yeah. Give us a refresh on um, Ready, Steady, Cook. Because, yeah. So tomato capsicum. Real, tomato capsicum. Yes, yes. So Two real teams. cooking. Yep. Real chefs. Yep. Real time. Mm. Judge Judy, <laughs> uh, real menus, <laughs> and and it happens with a contestant. The contestant creates a menu with a professional chef yes. in the real chef time. Does most of it, though, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, but the contestant come mm -hmm. and help and chop yes. some onions yeah. and do some <laughs> yeah, yeah, bits. Yeah. Yeah. And this is amazing. This is gonna be probably the first cooking show when people is actually gonna cook and nobody's gonna cry. We're just gonna be really happy about well, it. Yeah, I don't want a backstory, man. Well, no, no, we're just gonna onions. go cook. <laughs> yeah. Twenty yeah. minutes. See you later. You stuff it up. Goodbye. So, what does the winner get? But what do you mean? Prestige. 
Hey, hey, hey if you go and cook against Sean, will you like just to beat him for the sake of it? What no. about the glory of cooking yeah. a better menu than him? Yeah, the glory is great. Glory is great. So it's the money. <laughs> no, no, no. See, but this is how amazing. This is a cooking yeah. show that everyone... The people our, love cooking. The people yeah. that really love cooking in real time. That chefs will create a menu with the yeah. ingredients they get yeah. given. It's not and cheating. And if they stuff up, it's a bit of fun. Oh, like, nobody that. cares. And There's I'll nothing be, at stake. I'll be flying around uh, Doing between what the you two do. teams. And I'll be trying to bring the best of every team and trying to get a live audience. I mean, live you audience. give me a live audience. Yeah, yeah. You that, give that me is, a live that audience. That is your we, fuel, we, isn't we it? We see you at the Good Food and Wine oh, Show. Oh, and oh, you just... Oh, yeah. oh, my God, look at this, look at this. Oh, oh my God. That's he's got, got his Christmas hands on. He's got goosies. I mean, and because... some frozen peas on his God, you look, like, <laughs> you look like uncooked no, chicken. No, because a live audience is that element that Australia loves so much on TV. And that's yeah. spontaneity. And it's real time. And, you know... And nothing is manufactured. What do you think the age of the audience is going to be? <laughs> I'm well, they, they, are they going to be the people from Stockholm? I'm going to call my manager. No, is this, can you find a friend? <laughs> <laughs> Run, Daniel. Run, Daniel, please. <laughs> That's your go-to. Yeah, Daniel. Yeah, he knows all the answers. He was in the game show. Yeah, You're not going to have to be confused looking at the audience and seeing like brunette, blonde, redhead. No, no. just be the same colour. Uh, <laughs> but it's, same it, it is it's a great opportunity. I mean, Friday nights. I think he's going to... Because everyone is falling in love with the nostalgia of a great show. Yeah. And I think everybody's in love on Friday night with a living room feel that yeah. we cannot give people yeah. anymore and you know I, I love Amanda the other day in the yeah. radio said something very beautiful Amanda Keller say you know Miguel he was the soul that make us all laugh in the living room and it'll be nice for the audience to have him back on Friday night oh, I mean that's nice. and that's that nice. means a lot yeah. because coming yeah. from Amanda Amanda yeah. is a yeah. jagged knot of media. she's a radio yeah. star yeah. 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 you know you know it'd be really nice if you <laughs> if you stopped bringing up Amanda Keller to the people yes. that lost an award to her just that's recently okay. I mean, she's like the, the, the real star. I mean, it's okay. Don't worry, guys. Okay, you see how you, see how you bring them down? Look at this. It hurts a bit. What is that? Uh, is, the real can star. you put the crickets? Can you put some crickets? <laughs> huh? Okay, let's talk about Dr. Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, He's so talk. talented. Let, let, let me talk about Grindel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miguel, you were telling me about um, you're not swimming in Rottnest this year, but because you started training, though, at Manly, swimming, doing swimming in Manly? I've been doing the whole year, uh, no wetsuit, uh, through winter, 14, 13, 12 degrees. I've been doing like the bold and the beautiful. It's a swimming squad that goes from Manly Beach. Beach, yeah, yes. not the other beach, yeah, yeah. Manly Beach to Shelly Beach, and it's around two k's. And you swim in the morning, and it's the best way. I fall in love with what ocean time in swimming. The morning? Seven a.m. We're on the water, yeah. fresh, fresh, Wake you up. strong, and you start to see your body firm up in places that used really? to be floppy forever. <laughs> and then you stay like your chest yeah. doesn't shake anymore. The only like, part you... about my body is my knees. <laughs> <laughs> are you dancing with the stars fit again? Is that what we've gone for? Well, uh, no, I mean not as fit as that. But, um, <laughs> but like it's it's an amazing feeling. I was gonna do the Rodness, but the Ready Steady Cook is filmed on February, oh, and um, it sounds like another excuse. Like the last yeah. time, it starts to sound a little bit like that, yeah. but it's not an excuse. Sean has it, to do it by himself now. No, he's doing you? a solo. And yeah. I mean, no, I haven't done anything yet. But but yeah. Yeah. Can't claim yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Right Sean's doing like, Ready Steady Swim. Yeah. <laughs> but just just to do that does requires a lot of courage, and that's the thank you. You're gonna go for it. What you say is thank you. You the one gonna do the swim. He's taking the credit. Wings. He's hey, taking the credit. I sit next you. to him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to live with him. With this. I sit next to him. Well, <laughs> whatever dangerous. happens to him basically happens to me. So, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, he's brave of us, and we're looking forward to it. Never <laughs> <laughs> get the four points. That's it. <laughs> I haven't been doing much training. I hope uh, it goes well. I love all the students. <laughs> all the radio students are freaking out. See how it's done. I'm going to be in the boat next to Sean. Going, is it your going? Yeah, I'm going, no, I'll just be further, Sean. I'll just meet you up there. It's only four more hours. <laughs> we'll be up there. We'll be up there. We love your work, Miguel. Oh, if people yes. want to get involved in this Stockholm oh. Summer Sizzle. Yep. Something for over 55s and under 55s. That's right. There's something for everyone. Share yes. your favourite favorite summer recipe and tag in Stockland underscore WA and you could be next to uh, oh, Miguel this. while he cooks oh, the barbecue. Yes. VIP testa. There you go, baby. <laughs> Love your work, Miguel. You so You're much. welcome Thanks here anytime. You. You're I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to be clapping for the bike. <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. 
What's I happening here? I am shook, right? You shook? You're so, shocked? You're shocked? Here, as no, part of our team, shaken. if it's somebody shaken. has bought something new, we like to celebrate it. Yeah, we do. And um, Harry has bought something new. And this is a rare event. Yes, Harry. Harry rarely buys something can I, new. Can I say, though, the last couple of months there's been a bloody splurge going on in this guy. Get out. It has. Get out it has, here. Harry. Oh, he's getting defensive. Got to check you in, mate. No, um, Harry. Do you want to yeah. explain yourself? I got myself some linen shorts yesterday. Yeah, no, whoever everyone, are you? Firstly, no, firstly, you. everyone. <laughs> this is your first no, pair of linen them. shorts, I'm isn't it? Until I see them. Yeah. You, I haven't, looking. you haven't had linen shorts before? No. 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 I've had shorts no. this style. You know yeah. the last ones I had? Yes. Yeah. I wore them so much, I put a massive hole in the cheeks. Mm. Yes. Um, yeah. 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 With your yeah. Yeah. gigantic... And then bike. I bought <laughs> them and wore them out. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Ricky was in town last week. What are we going to do? Uh, so, anyway, um, uh, so Harry has got these shorts. And welcome welcome to the world of linen, Harry. Mm. Are you linen la vida loca? I feel, it feels breezy. Do you, it feels would good. Would you yeah, call yeah. yourself a linen lover? I, I certainly would. Because yeah. <laughs> yes, sure. yeah. everyone's had them the last couple of years, Harry. I'm so behind you're, on fashion shows. You're late to yeah, the linen that. party. Yeah. I'm going to get you a linen shirt okay, thank from you. me to you. Oh, thank but you. But mm. this is the thing that shooketh me. Shooketh. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> These are like a. These are a normal, natural colour. What's the colour of that? Oh, beige. Beige is you know tanny. Yeah. What is yeah. it? Yeah, khaki. Torp. torp, torp. A torp linen short. It's not a long short either. It's just a short. It's your base short. A drawstring waist? Yes. Drawstring. Oh, drawstring. Yes. drawstring and waist. also, yep. nice Pockets. zip feature oh, okay. on the side. Okay. Yeah, Hello. the zip doesn't explain this. Yeah. How much zip. was it? <laughs> Recommended retail. <laughs> I don't want to. Recommended <laughs> retail. <laughs> tell them how much you pay for those shorts. <laughs> oh, Harry, you got to tell I'm me. Crying. I'm invested here. $160. Oh! <laughs> Harry. No! No! That's not a retire. No, 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 no. Where did you get them from? <laughs> Shook it. Can I just say, I, Amy, Amy, Target. Yes. Sorry, Target. Yes. Have them. Okay. For 20 squids, I would I imagine. I think you can get linen shorts in the industry for like to, 60, 70 bucks. Got industry, yeah. But uh, do they have a zip-up pocket? <laughs> okay, this is the thing. I'll go... Going into a shop for me is a lot. Shopping is a well, lot for me. Tall, yeah, but we do know about the world of pricing. And I don't yeah. like online... Sh- yeah, I don't like online shopping. You don't so like I getting. just go into... When I need something, I'll just go and get it. And it's convenient. Yeah, but... You, but it, but there's a target over there. Buy, there's a target over there. I won't buy shorts for another year. Cost, where, where, Cost was shop? where was this shop? Cost per okay, girl math. Where was this shop? In Cottesloe or something. North Perth? Was it flannel? Yeah. Sam flannel made me go. Sam, 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 Sam buys $1,800 clutches. I know. <laughs> I what are you going in for? I should have known. Are you kidding me? I would have a bag over here and taken you to best and less. What's wrong with David Jones and Meyer? You know what the action is. him. Too much park. oh, anyway. parking. Oh, anyway, good parking. Yeah, there you go. Go. One hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> oh my lord! I'm picture. shocked, man. We need to put a picture of them Nathan up on our shook socials shook so people can see what a hundred and sixty dollar pair of shorts looks like. <laughs> you know what it looks like? It looks like a twenty dollar pair of shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie's just walking Are in horrified too as well. Much? Ellie. My Ellie's looking for Ellie, a pay increase. Look He's clearly getting pay? a lot of money. Stand Where up, sh- show up. Stand up, stand up and show her. Show her. That, that, that's them. Aren't they nice? But you paid $160 <laughs> for those, mate. Thank Come good, on. on. Also, it was like, what happened? It was the Black Friday sales. Like, how did oh, you... I missed <laughs> You went on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you found the only store that tripled the price. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a joke about Harry's shorts, but it didn't come to me in time. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Well, 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 sorry. Well, Thanks well, for telling us you were going to. Yeah, my brain's yeah, ticking. What did me mate send a message? The, the sales chick must have been smoking hot. So you, you invested. Was she? You invested into was getting it a the salesman? purchase. It was a salesman. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah. you got to do what you got to do to get a discount. Have we put that picture up on the socials yet? No. Oh, we're going to show his legs. Yeah. Just watch my cost per wear. <laughs> yeah, okay. Watch. No, my, watch I don't me, know, Harry. Watch I'm me get it down 100%. to 50 I'm not cents. Into it, you do realise that linen isn't the most, um, you know, uh, heavy-duty fabric. Like, if you wore an, a hole in your ass cheeks with your other shorts, <laughs> I'd check them now because it's probably... <laughs> <laughs> it's probably forming as you speak. We just spent a whole time um, Googling shorts that are the same as the ones Harry bought, but yeah. considerably cheaper. So the brand that Harry bought, if you're just tuning in, Harry spent um, $160 on a pair of, of just normal it's a 69, by linen the way. shorts. I, 
I don't, 160. I don't, I don't even know what the brand is. The brand is OAS, sure. and I just went online to see how much people are selling it for, and they are $169 these Right, short. okay. But okay. then I come across um, uh, the same brand, and there's these, um, this is a, a short and robe set. <laughs> Need. <laughs> and I went, like, in, in, a, in, a palm, in a palm leaf <laughs> motif, and I, Sean goes, what are, you, are you buying that? And then I went, no, I was thinking about getting it for a friend for Christmas, and then Sean said to me. I said, if Nathan wears that, I'm going to have to beat him up. <laughs> we, we have not had an altercation in 15 no, years, but I feel... Back, we've coming. never come to physical blows. A never blight. Has. To throw <laughs> the figure four leg lock on him. Maybe the camel clutch. I don't know. He'd be asking for it. <laughs> it's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Ali, it's great that you're here because you're a lady. Mm. I am sometimes. Allegedly. Natalie as well. Here's one we've I'm, heard earlier. I'm also Thank you. allegedly a lady. A lady. Sometimes. <laughs> you're a man. Oh. Oh. I don't know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, okay, so women have identified a habit that they do after cleaning that most men admit that they've never done. So this was sparked on a conversation on a Reddit, right? So what it is, is they're saying that a woman, when she cleans a room, she will walk out of the room and then she'll come back into the room to admire her work. Mm. And then she'll just sit back and go... So you mean immediately, immediately, immediately after yep, finishing? You'll walk out, you'll reset and you'll come back in and then you'll take it in. That's, and then you'll sit there and just go, yeah. That's yeah. because if she doesn't do that, almost mm. immediately a man messes it up. Yeah. And so yes. she's got to enjoy it for that Excuse 30 me. seconds while yeah. it's still clean. <laughs> yeah, all these women chimed in and they said, yeah, I do this, 100% do mm. this, like, love it. And then um, uh, some men started chiming in as well. Of course they did. Uh, guy says, cleaning only for the sake of appearances is a girl thing. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, Men clean to existing cleanliness, he says. Another guy goes, I definitely do this. I like admiring a job well done. Another one says, I do it numerous times with my motorcycle. It's not a female thing. Oh, I don't, I don't, he I don't think it is motor, at all. Motorbike and, yeah. then and then goes also just goes and stands out and looks at it. Yeah. He goes and stands out and looks. Another guy says, I personally love to look back on my mowing. Oh, well, yeah. it's, the it's, satis- it's the satisfaction of uh, an a accomplishment job well done. and a job mm, well yeah. done. Yep. So if it was yep. building something, something in your backyard, mm. even cleaning the pool, you stand back and you go, oh, yep. have a go I, another, chick says, another chick says, I still do it every day, even though I hardly anyone comes over. Yeah. <laughs> it's a habit and the perfectionist in me. I've actually caught my boyfriend doing this quite a few times when he's arranging something new in his bedroom. Oh, bless. He'll be like putting the cushions together and oh. stand back and go, yeah. yeah. Great that, work. that is Nathan Morris to a T. It's when I got my new tap from Remember? Yeah. Oh yes. Oh geez, you did not stop going on about that. I still time. look at it sometimes. <laughs> like, I, like, I'm just. I mean, I, I live alone, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> So do I, and I'm not stirring them at that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I'm watching TV sometimes, and I look over to the kitchen bench, especially uh, if I've just like cleared because I love yeah. clean. I love a clear surface. Mm. So if the surface is all clear, sometimes I look over at the tap and I'm like, okay. oh. "How are you? How are you doing?" Yeah, <laughs> a bit of a nod of approval. I was like, "That was such a great yeah. decision." Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah I really like it. Ali, is there anything in your house that yeah. you, uh, you admire? I do that. I admire the shutters. And oh, well, you fought hard clean. to get those yeah, shutters. Yeah. In, in fact, you weren't going to move in with your partner exactly. unless there were. I'll open them at different angles. Oh, see, like, um, yeah, oh, really and cool. little different amounts of light <laughs> yeah. come in oh, to catch the, to catch the Adair's couch. That's mm. right, my my boucle, uh, ottoman from Adair's. Beautiful. I love to stare at that. I watch that all the time. She's a lunar lover. The last, That's um, so good. The last holidays we had, yeah. I didn't go away. Unusual for me because I stayed home and and reorganised my wardrobe, mm. um, and which then is stand out. So yeah. wait, Nathan, mm. there's more. I'm ready. But, so I I built another unit. So yes. and so I've got now got one unit for tops one for bottoms and one for dresses plus then a set of drawers Mm. right but the tops one this is the one that really i really love i have color coded Mm, love up the all the tops yeah so it starts off there's white down one end and yeah it's a rainbow rainbow all the greens are together all the pinks and oranges are together Mm. blues are all together are you going to stick to it or have you stuck to it i've stuck to it so far yeah how many times have you gone and just look at it when i go in there sometimes it catches my eye and and i just go yeah just take a little moment you know that still looks really good is there anything at your house that you admire well recently i fixed the sprinklers which is a big moment for me (laughs) so what did you go out there and did did you look at them or turn them on and just turn them on i've turned them on multiple times and just go the fact that they're not spraying on the road which is a winner. Yeah, they they, they yeah. pop up and they yeah. just go around to yeah. 90 yeah. degrees. And, um, That's an art. How long ago did you do that? 
uh, 10 days ago. Do you, have you admired it quite often since then? Yeah, well, the, the, the thing was that I knew if I'd do this, then I'd, Megan would be off my, my case for a second because yeah. she's going ballistic Oh, at she me. found but something she else, didn't, didn't I didn't she? even get recognised <laughs> for doing it. I didn't even get recognised for doing it. So oh. you recognised yourself for the last yeah. 10 days? Just <laughs> a little pat on the back. Hey, we want to know, at your place, what do you stand back, look at, and just soak it in yeah. and admire because, oh. you know what? You did a great job. It's awesome. <laughs> it's beautiful and it's yours. <laughs> We're going to give somebody a Rendezvous Perth Scarborough overnight stay. Hello. Well, like, check out the Rendezvous Film Club with exclusive club access, lounge access. Head to rendezvousperthscarborough.com.au. All right, Mike. We're talking pride. What yeah. are you really proud yeah. of yeah. at your house? Because you did that. You yeah. made that happen. Hello, Ryan. Hello, how are you going there, guys? Merry Wonderful, Christmas. Ron. Hi, Ryan. Ryan, what oh, do thanks, you admire? Buddy. Wow, it was a sporting achievement that um, I don't think too many can can meet my parallels. I, <laughs> in E-grade cricket a couple of years ago, I yeah. did 103 runs off 80 balls. Oh, hey! I got the scorecard. I got the scorecard. You got the scorecard? Right yeah. Above the freezer. Yes. And my wife, I, like, she goes, what, what are you looking at what we're going to have for dinner? And I'm like, what are you talking about? No, I'm just, I am just staring at my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, how long's it been up there, that scorecard? Yeah. Oh, only coming up on four years. <laughs> It'll be there forever. <laughs> right, but, you know, sometimes it. you do. You have to go up there and get... <laughs> I, I, I actually dust it. I don't dust I anything. Dust it. I don't dust anything. Ryan, you did say E-grade, didn't you? Yeah, well, that's well. For I don't excellent. know if you're for excellent. with E grade, but that's Excalibur. Like, as yeah, we've yeah, so you and your sword. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I know that you're admired. When people, when people come over, Ryan, do they get to have a look and what do they think? Well, I sometimes go and stand in front of it so that it's directly above my head. So they so ask. <laughs> hey, Ryan, Never obviously change, you, Ryan. you thought about that moment that often because you still got the scorecard. What a moment of Do you glory. remember the shot of the day? Can you talk me through it? Uh, yeah, yeah, like where, yeah, I smashed a stick off this bowler who's probably bowling 80 kilometre hour mud pies and just smashed it, <laughs> dropped on the boundary, but it went over and went for six. And I thank that guy afterwards. I see him regularly, actually, and just say thanks, mate. It was, it was <laughs> dropped on the boundary. So the, the crowning moment of this innings was the fact that you were dropped on the boundary. You wouldn't expect any more in E-grade. So. <laughs> <laughs> Love your work, Ryan. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Kyla is in Port Kennedy. Hi, Kyla. Hi, how are you going? Good, oh, good. Oh, Now, Kyla. what is it that you are inordinately proud of and have to take a moment to admire at your house? Well, I actually used to be a cleaner for about five years. Yeah. So cleaning is actually good for me. Like, I love cleaning my house. Mm. And my partner and I have just moved into a new home. So every time that I clean the house and he's not there, I'll walk around and take photos of it. And <laughs> I'll, like, I'll, like, send it to him when he's not home just so he can say how good it is. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> That's right. But he's encouraging you because while you're cleaning it, he doesn't exactly. have to. Yeah. Does he care? Exactly. Does get, he care, though? Does he care? Um, I'll get good work. Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. Um, he'll come home and he's like, wow. But really, he just can't wait to mess it all up again. I was going to say, how long does that take? Mm. Um, as soon as he walks in, he'll strip off, leave his clothes on the floor <laughs> and then just yeah. make himself some food and it's a mess again. Yeah. yeah. You know what? It's like, it is sometimes... I, I do think it is a good idea sometimes. When you clean the hell out of your place, you yes. know when you do an amazing clean and you stand back and you go, okay, this looks yes. like it. You know, you it's been set up. For fo- evidence sometimes it. it is good to take a photo just because it's never going to yeah. get better than that. Because <laughs> when that shower screen is clean, yes. it's, it's a work of art. It's amazing. Uh, thanks, Kyla. Steph's in Wandy. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, Hi Steph. Steph. Now, what are, you, what are you very proud of at your house that you just have to admire it all the time? Um, solar lights that I've just purchased. Oh, oh fantastic. Tell us more. Wow. Well, there's a few different ones. Mm. Um, I've got a Christmas one just for, you know, the upcoming festivities. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, then I've got one that's a kettle with um, the lights coming out the spout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was that on special? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if you've heard of Timu. So every oh yeah, we've heard oh, yeah, of Timu. Okay, yeah. cool. And also, it's a tea light, mm. tea light candle. Yes, indeed. Yeah, uh, keep going. Yeah. So, okay, so we got yes. this. Yep. 
Yep. Um, there's one that, that goes across um, the beams of my house, which gets tangled every day. So I've got to go out and untangle that. And then as soon as I untangle it, the wind tangles it again. But it still looks pretty. Yes. Can we just say, we're, <laughs> just, we're just looking at the water can. Um, yes. The water can uh, solar like light. It. it is glorious. Yeah, Did you I get like that from yeah. Timu? Is yeah, that what you got yeah. yeah. That is yeah, so, really nice. <laughs> yeah, so they just arrived last week. And so mm. I've went on and bought some more. So I'm waiting for them to arrive this week and I've bought another watering can. <laughs> <laughs> well, that looks so good. Wait, so, yeah. wait, they're they're like, spill out yeah. of it. Like no, water. no, no, she hasn't finished yet. She bought another watering can because... Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it needs to go at the other side of the house now. So, so yeah. it's like pigeon pear. Yeah. Oh, so right. it's, like, yeah. it's like, you know, like in um, ancient Chinese um, yeah. buildings, they've got the two big lines <laughs> at right. the front. Yeah. You've got the two solid watering like, cans. Like avocados, <laughs> you need two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I reckon it'd be a great night standing out the front, uh, just, just admiring, having a wine, just admiring a the kettles. Yeah, I've been, to- sure. I've been told about this Timu website mm. and been told to buy stuff from there. Steph, what is your experience so far? Uh, so far, so good, and I reckon I've done about five or six purchases. Mm. Uh, it's an addiction, so just be careful. Because yeah. <laughs> well, think about it, because that kettle, this this solar light kettle, it's only twenty dollars, twenty one dollars, mm. and you think, come on, that's oh. not going to work. It's a bad job. I only paid fifteen. So <laughs> oh, oh, Monday. Wow. <laughs> Black, Black Friday sales. Yeah. Good on you, Steph. Thank you. Uh, we have a Rendezvous Perth Scarborough overnight stay. You can check out the Rendezvous Film Club with exclusive club lounge access. Head to rendezvousperthscarborough.com.au. Ryan, it has to go to Ryan. Your way. <laughs> his E-grade cricket innings from four years ago. Still he does there. it. He does it. That's how much he loves it. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.